as we realize uh, the ruler of the world, Satan, he wants and envies from the beginning uh, what God had uh, with the uh, adoration and the worship of mankind. And so he wanted the very same thing. And so now this legal redemption we're talking about fits in place because at that point, uh, we know it's eventually going to lead to people becoming the seed of the serpent, literally by uh, having the seed of the serpent's artificial ID, ID system inside the body like a barcode. So uh, we're going we're gonna to read out of Genesis. I'm going to read uh, God's Word. I'm reading out of the uh, uh, a Gideon Bible. Uh, and I'm going to read out of there, out of Genesis uh, 1, verse 27. Hopefully I'm not offending people that are King Jamesers, because I know there's people that actually um, get really upset when you read out of any other version. But I, from my research, I don't have a problem with this particular version uh, from what I've researched. So, of course, you have to use your conscience and, and do your own due diligence. So I'm reading out of Genesis 1, 27, and it says, And God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him, male and female, he created them. And God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth, and subdue it, and rule over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the sky, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Then God said, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the surface of the earth, and every tree which has fruit yielding seed, it shall be food for you. And so to every beast of the earth and to every bird of the sky and to everything that moves on the earth, which has life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. And God saw all that he had made and behold, it was very good. And there was evening and there was morning the sixth day. Now I'm going to just give you kind of the way I would see how Satan would like to have re rewrite this account. So we'll, we'll start in the same manner, but this is where I believe uh, Satan uh, would actually narrate it. And it says, And Satan recreated man, human, in his own image of legal imagination. In the image of Satan, he recreated him, male and female, and transgender legal persons. And Satan cursed them, and Satan said to them, be unfruitful and do not multiply and reproduce. No unauthorized reproduction. Use birth control and depopulate the earth and be in subjection to the land by land tax and be in subjection to the fish of the sea by worshiping the fish of the sea like the Roman Catholic Pope who wears the Babylonian fish head god headdress. And over the birds of the heaven by making totem poles to bow down uh, to of every living thing on the earth and then Satan said, Behold, I have taken away from you every plant yielding seed that is on the surface of the earth, and every tree yielding seed by making genetically modified plant seed, and it shall be poison for you. And to every hormone-injected beast of the earth and to every migrating bird of the sky will feed off my polluted lakes, and to everything that moves on the earth which has life, I have taken away purity and exchanged poison which will fall upon every green plant by acid rain and chemtrail pollutants, becoming altered food. And it was so. And Satan saw all that he had recreated, and behold, it was very evil and bad. And there was evening and morning the sixth day. Does this not sound like what we're seeing today? A recreation, an entertainment world that uh, evil is actually watching unfold? Well, we know there's hope in the scripture, and we know evil loses, so all I can give is comfort and hope out of this book, which again, I tell you, is not the Canadian Charter, this is the Christian Charter. 